hello everyone welcome back to mrs Food channel i hope everyone is doing well in today's recipe i am going to show you how i make an assorted meat ghana pavlot soup with fufu so let's get started for this soup i have got some shaki i have got some salted pig feet and i have also got some beef brisket all right so i have got here one diced onion that i am going to add it to the meat on a separate plate here i've got three fresh tomatoes three scotch bonnet two medium-sized onion and two small thumb-sized fresh ginger so now i am also adding my tomatoes my two onions my scotch bonnet and my ginger next i'm going to add one tablespoon of beef seasoning stock then i am going to add one tablespoon of garlic granules next i am going to add one cube of maggi cube and uh, this is the large one next i am going to add one tablespoon of tomato puree or tomato paste and then i am going to add one liter of water now i am going to cover it and let it simmer until the tomatoes onion ginger and pepper become cooked but i am also going to give it a little stir I still need a few more minutes until my veggies are cooked all right friends so this is the time now let's check on our veggies and yes it is ready and I'm going to take everything out of it and then I am going to stir my meat and leave it to cook on the lowest heat possible so now that I've got this, I'm going to put it in my blender and blend it. I won't add any extra water to it. And this is it. So now let's go back to our meat and pour in the pepper, tomatoes, ginger, onion mixture to it. So it is as simple as that. And now I'm going to rinse my blender and add in a little bit more water, give it a little stir, and then I am going to cover it back and leave it to simmer for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, I've got my palm nut cream here and I am using a small can and I think it is enough for my soup so how i do it is this way i am going to empty my can of palm nuts cream into my bowl and in the meantime i have also boiled some water so i boiled about a liter of water here and i'm going to pour it on my palm nut cream and dissolve it okay then I'm going to give it a little stir and make sure it is all nicely dissolved. Alright, so back to our soup now and as you can see it's starting to look great. So I'm going to add my palm nut cream but I'm going to strain it and I'm going to show you why I am straining it. And it's because I found out there was dirt inside the palm nut cream okay so if you can stir it do stir it and look at what i see here you see the black stuff here that's what i'm talking about so this is why i do it this way now to get rid of this black stuff there not that it's going to do anything to you but you know I just don't like it so now stir it and cover it and leave it to simmer in the meantime I have got myself two large oyster mushrooms and I've got one breakfast or everything pot so everything has been washed 
and I am going to cut each oyster mushroom into although you could leave it whole like that or even cut it into smaller pieces I love me some soup with some oyster mushroom guys and then I am going to um, poke some holes in my fracaset or everything pod why because it will give my soup even more flavor okay so now let's get back to our soup and we are going to add in our oyster mushrooms and then we'll add one more uh, Maggi cube tablets and then we'll also add half a tablespoon of salt to taste next we are going to put our pregnancy on the stove so we are going to sort of um, grill it to bring out all the flavors make sure you do not burn yourself guys and this is ready now and I'm going to put it in a soup make sure I stir everything and then I'm going to cover it again but not entirely so just as you see here and then I'm going to leave it to simmer for about 15 minutes on the lowest heat possible and then my soup will be ready to eat guys all right my dear friends so this is my palm nut soup here and it is ready i have already prepared my fufu and i am about to serve this wonderful soup and fufu and by the way i always serve my husband first so this is for him <laughs> and i'm sure he's going to be happy with this soup it is one of his favorites so help me garnish this wonderful fufu and soup for my husband <laughs> look at this wonderful meat the soup is just amazing guys and it smells so wonderful in the kitchen you should really try it and since the festive season is approaching why not have some fufu and panna soup all right my dear friends so this was my recipe look at this it's amazing i hope you are going to try it if you do don't forget to leave me a message send me pictures on instagram and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you all god bless you and see you next time bye bye